You witnessed the collapse of theatrical animation. Uh, Terry Toons, Paramount, the studios fell apart. Right. That whole system fell apart. Right. That must have been terrifying for the old timers that have been there for 30, 40 years. That's the way. How did you, <coughs> how did you change the way you thought about how cartoons were made to be able to weather that storm and, and go on and create something else? Because right now we're kind of facing a similar position with television. And That's a good theatrical. question. Um, the kind of guy I am, because of the kind of way I grew up, or the kind of I'm a corny guy, and the things I believe in the ninth inning home runs. I saw Bobby Thompson beat the Brooklyn Dodgers for the Bandit one year. He had a home run in the ninth inning with two outs, and we all sat in the streets and cried. Uh, I came into this business that was falling apart. My mother says, "Smart move, Ralph." <laughs> you know, I came into this. I was married, I had a kid, and the business is crumbling. And um, typical Backstreet move. Um, and what I searched for was what animation had never done. My, I kept believing that these things. I was bored, you see, I was bored to tears of what the guys were fighting to save. I didn't think what they were fighting to save was worth anything. I was sick and tired of Bugs Bunny at that point, though it's great. I was sick and tired of the cartoons they were making. I didn't find what they were crying to save any reason to save. You know, but it was done over and over and over and over again. And, it was tiring and boring and nothing new, like I said. So I immediately thought that anything different would get people excited. You know, the thing is, if you have a different product, people will stop buying it. So I started to think about what I hated about the cartoons I'm looking at and why the studios should close down. In other words, there's no reason to keep stuff open that's boring. In other words, why do you need another Terry Tunes with a cat chasing the mouse in 1956? I mean, why do you need it? So unless you're doing something else, it has to go. And I believe that today, too. So today, with the machine and the equipment, so I worked very hard to change the business, break down Disney's bullshit, if you pardon the expression. The thing I fought very hard was Disney, who said you can only do it this way, you only need the best animators, you only need a million, a million pencil tests to do something right, you only need the best voice recordings in the world, you only need the most money in the world. That's what would paralyze most of the industry. In other words, Disney paralyzed the guys by saying, unless you had all of this, you had nothing. And they bought into it. All the animators bought into it. I said, the hell with that. I don't care if the animation is good or bad. I said, I'm just going to animate and try to make the story better, which I did. That's all I did. So I took Disney on because he locked and tied the hands of the industry for so many years, saying, you guys are nothing unless you have the nine old men doing something over a million times at, at two feet a week. Irv Spence did great animation at 40 feet a week, every week, so did Manny Perez. So what, I, so what I'm saying is, you break the, you guys are sitting today with the world in your hands. Entire studios are in one box. Backstreet production of its ink and paint department, its lack of special effects, uh, Xeroxing, hand ink and coloring is all done in a box. Everyone here could make their own, four guys could get together and make their own movie in a year, but nobody does except Bill Clinton. What I'm saying is, you guys, that's what I would do if I was young. I wouldn't even get a job. I'd get a couple of computers and a bunch of guys. We eat, sit, we eat crap for a year. We'd be millionaires the next year if we did a good film. It's so extraordinary. You sit there crying about like getting a job at Disney or things are falling apart. The same thing the old animators were doing when I was a kid. It's all crumbling. It's not crumbling. You're crumbling. You got these computers that can do this stuff for nothing. And what do you do with it? You try to get a job for some asshole studio. <laughs> it's so dumb. And it's so dumb. Why can't six or eight animators get together, get a couple of machines, and do a stupid picture? What, what's stopping you from doing it night? What is it that stops you guys from writing and directing and animating something? And inking and painting and shooting it and doing the backgrounds on the computer dirt cheap, which, I, which, I did, which I'm doing in the last days of Cody. The four guys in the last days of Cody Island. The whole picture's going to cost me $500,000. It's going to look better than Coonskin. What? The machine's doing it. I don't have laboratory costs. I don't have editing costs. I don't have opaque sitting there demanding raises. I don't, I'm not buying coffee for everyone. I got Johnny 
Chris Lucia is not eating pizza at $1,000 a week in my studio. <laughs> I got the entire Backstreet Productions in a box. I'm not kidding you. So you guys sit there crying, and I got no respect for you. Go do something about it. Start for a year or two. But you're all town, you're all draw. You have to get someone to tell you you could draw, or pay you, so you know you could draw. Draw! Draw badly, draw good, draw well. Have great ideas and go make your own films. Record voices, put it in. Don't you know what the computer could do? So what are you sitting here? So what am I saying to you? There is no, there is, you, you, you're being handed an opportunity, but you keep crawling back to, to Katzenberg and saying, hire me. I want to become, make $10 million. I want to make $7,000 a week. I want to buy these fancy pants. Well, you know, <laughs> uh, young directors that work for me, I meet them at, at parties lately. They got these great pants here when he's designed the pants. I know they made a lot of money, but they're doing Shrek 2, 3, and 4 shit. <laughs> they think they're doing something. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. If you're young or half young, or get a bunch of guys together and make your own films. Distributors will buy it if it's good. HBO will buy it. You could distribute it yourself. You could go on eBay and sell the goddamn thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm selling cells like I'm supporting my films from my dumb cells that I'm selling. My kids, me. What I'm saying is there's always, it's not easy. But boy, I'm telling you, if you're young and you send your wife to work, go do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but she'll be rich. You'll be rich at the end of it. I mean, all these guys who want to hand draw the stuff and animation, these great animators out of work, what are they doing not banding together and getting a couple of machines and going to a garage on the weekends? That's how, what's his name, started that great computer company. You want to, what's his name, Gates? What did he do? I mean, what did I do? Went out in the street with a tape recorder and did Fritz the Cat for under a million dollars and made a hundred million dollars today, maybe two. You know, because I didn't do what Disney said was... I was going to fall apart on the big screen. If you don't do it Disney's way, you're nothing in your crap. And every Adam and he said, yes. Yes, it's the only way, God. Yes. God, you can't do this. Yes. God said you can't do this. Our hands are tied. Why are the pictures bad, Connie? The pictures are bad because we don't have Disney's money. No, Connie. The pictures are bad because you're not thinking about what you're doing. And I was always blaming the studio they're not as much money as Disney. Disney did some of the most terrible shorts I've ever seen in my life. Boring will put you to sleep. You know, so um, I'm serious. I'm, I'm, you know, that's, I, that's what I would do. I see, I'm giving you this advice, and that's what I'm, I'm trying to tell you the truth. Um, it's hard, it ain't easy, and you're going to pull your hair out of your head. Nothing is easy. But if you have some ideas you like, but it, is it doable? Oh, yeah. I'm doing it. The last days of going on will cost me $500,000. It'll look better than Coonskin. Full animation, shadows, colored lines, photographic backgrounds. How did I do it? I'm not doing it. I get a bunch of animators animating, and I got the computer finishing it up. This machine finishes the picture for me. Instead of hiring a thousand people to finish it, I got a box in the room that does what I want it to do. <laughs> <laughs> and spits it out. Now, that's the truth. I'm not, you guys know that. You've seen it. You've been around. So, see, But no one does it. I don't know why. Lethargic. Uninspired. Terrified. Does that answer your question? Yes. <laughs>